Microsoft Teams raise hand feature is a really useful tool to manage who is able to speak at certain times during a video call to ensure there's no talking over each other. So let's take a look at how it works. In this first example, you're a participant on the call. Once you've joined the meeting and you're on the call, you'll notice that on your floating toolbar, there's a button with a hand icon. This is the raise your hand tool. When you wish to say something during a group call, simply click the raise your hand icon. It might not look like anything has happened on your screen, but a small hand will show up next to your name and your name will appear on the participants list, which lets the meeting organizer know that your hand is digitally raised and that you have something to add to the conversation. If you decide that you no longer wish to have your hand raised, you can click on the hand icon again. You'll notice that if you hover over it, it says lower your hand. Now I'm going to flip the scenario and show you what the raise hand feature looks like if you're the meeting organizer. Before the meeting starts, it's a good idea to make sure you, as the organizer, are the only person that can mute or lower a hand. To do this, go into the calendar view in Teams, find your meeting, click on it, and at the top, next to time zone, click meeting options. This takes you to an external page outside of the Microsoft Teams app. It's here that you can change the settings on who can bypass the lobby. You can announce who leaves and joins, and you can set who can present. This is particularly useful if you're running a bigger meeting, as you have complete control over who is able to action certain functions during the call. If you do not do this, then anyone in the Microsoft Teams call has the ability to lower anyone else's hand or they can mute each other at any time. Once the call starts, it's a good idea to mention to people at the beginning that you would prefer that they use the raise hand feature rather than them all talking at once. When participants click the raise hand button, you will notice that the hand symbol appears next to the relevant person's name. To see who's raised their hand, you can click onto the participants icon on the floating toolbar and you can choose who you would like to speak first by verbally calling out their name and asking them to share their contribution. As the presenter, you can also mute individual attendees and lower a participant's hand by hovering over their name and clicking the three dots that appear and selecting the relevant action. We hope you found this useful. For more how-to videos, tech tips and Microsoft updates, check out our website. And don't forget to find us on socials.